Hello guys, today I'm going to show you guys 10 different ways to draw anime male eyes. So let's get started. First off, I'm going to zoom in a little bit and then I'm going to find a place to draw the eyes on. So if you have, if you have seen my video on uh, female eyes, you will see that these two lines are much narrower this time. The reason to that is because that's the difference between male eyes and female eyes. And for the first time, I'm going to draw something really simple. It's going to be two lines like that, and then uh, a curve down there. And it's looking at us from a perspective, so the, the iris is on a little bit to one of the side, to the right side. So that's it. I think the space between the eyes was a little bit too great. So I'm just gonna make them a little bit closer to each other. This one is not exactly the most popular uh, eyes that you can see, but it's still quite popular. It, it's it's not. I mean, it's not popular, but it's very. It's a good eye, it's a good style. It works and it's simple and it's acceptable acceptable for most people. And um, you, you will see that this line, I mean the upper line, the eyelid or what you call it, is not as thick as the eyes for girls. And that's just anime, you know, anime that tend to have, you know, masculine, they try to make it more masculine. So this, eye is, this line is gonna be thin and it's not gonna be any eyelashes, but of course, we are gonna add some some eyelid. Well, actually, I'm gonna just just leave it out without eyelid. That's completely okay. I'm just gonna make this line a little bit clearer. You know, just two lines above it. Don't need any specific shapes for the eyebrow. And then the eye eyelid eye. You know, whatever you call it. <laughs> And then for the for the iris, I'm gonna just do some really simple shadowing or shading. Just gonna be like that. Well, actually, I'm just gonna make the whole thing black except for the highlight. Just like that. No, no need to shade or anything. You know, the eyes of male tend to be much more simpler than the eyes for females and that's it we're done uh, we have we are done with the first eye so let's get on to the second eye so for the second eye i'm actually gonna do something a little bit more feminine go to it's gonna be looking from the other side you can see from this curve this is the center of the eyes and then i'm gonna make these eyes a little bit I don't know, but by the way, I'm just gonna lower this a little bit, lower the lines a little bit, so that the eyebrow fits into the picture. But for this eye, I'm just gonna make it really, really tall, something like that. Try not to make it look too much like the the eyes of for female characters. So now I'm just making a large curve and then the iris trying to fit the iris into the picture. But it's a little bit too close these two eyes so I'm just going to erase this one and move it a little bit to the side. Sorry guys, I know I erase a little bit more in this tutorial. Don't know why. Try to, I, mean, I would try to stop erasing that much. I'm not very used to drawing this kind of eye. A very feminine, masculine eye. Not something that you, you draw every day. Okay, that's pretty much it. So, as you can see, the eyebrows for men, for boys, tend to be more... I mean, they tend to point down towards... I mean, the, the slope down... What is it called? Slant? I don't know. 
they just go down downwards like a V shape just to make it more masculine and by the way I'm just gonna make this eye I mean this line much more clearer and these lines so that you guys can see it it's not just some vague lines there even though they are quite vague okay so for the shadowing and shading since this iris is so large I can't do the same thing of course I could have done the same thing but it would look too oversimplified so instead I'm just gonna do some simple shading again this one is straight from the, vi the, vi the video where I show you guys how to shade for the female eyes so just everything maybe highlight there I don't know and then everything inside this area that's pretty good I'm just gonna sharpen this the eyebrow a little bit like that and then of course the eyelid this part it may be a little line there I don't know whatever you know the eyelid the line for the eyelid is very often ignored and people don't pay so much attention to it so you don't need to be so you don't need to care that much about the eyelid okay so for, for the third eye let's try something really simple something something that is quite popular too let's, let me see it's gonna be it's gonna be a large eye but for this eye it's gonna be it's gonna be something that look very childish maybe the eyes for a child something like that I don't really know what I'm trying to draw just trying to make as much variations as possible but you know again a very simple eye as you can see this eye is very simple and then This one is not gonna be very fem I mean masculine, I'm trying to make it a little bit more feminine, so this one is pretty okay because you know boys this one is gonna be the eyes for for a young young male person. So it's a boy and boys tend to be more feminine, so it's okay to have you know these lines there. Even though in anime boys also tend to be a little bit more masculine. But it's completely okay to just leave it like that. Okay, so for this shading, I'm going to try something a little bit different. It's gonna be a, a circle for the highlight and then two iris. Iris, iris, how to pronounce it, I don't know. But let me just shade the iris and then I'm gonna shade everything around it a little bit lighter let's see if this works I don't really know if this would work or not just testing this out now hope this one works okay so it is pretty good it isn't that bad but the eye is a little bit strange you know it does not look like it's looking at us maybe because I have to move this one a little bit to the side but uh, it's a little bit too late to, uh, to regret now just gonna erase it I know I'm sorry guys but I just can't bear it having the it being there I don't know let's just shade it again just for training just for practice Shade it again. Okay, pretty good. Okay, so let me just make this a little bit sharper. And then, I don't know, just maybe some eyelid for it. But I think this one is so simple. So to keep it, you know, keep the simple style, I'm just gonna leave out the, the eyelid. So it's just gonna be like this. So I'm just gonna shade the iris a little bit darker and then everything else also a little bit darker because it looked a little bit strange and maybe a gradient from top to bottom 
I don't know, you know, there are tons of ways to shave for an eye. And this is just one way, so let's just leave it like that. And let's go for the fourth eye. So for the fourth eye, I'm just gonna do something, I don't know, more, much more masculine. Let's, let's try something that I like to draw. So for this eye, and by the way, I'm just gonna draw this, draw this a little bit larger because I saw that there was some space there. And for this side, let's just draw it like this. So, so a flat line, flat line for the eye. That looks maybe, lo it looks a lot like this, but the thing about this, li this eye is that it's much more narrower and it's also much more realistic and masculine. So, so even on the eyelid, but that eyelid looked so strange. Just gonna redraw this one. Okay, something like that is okay. So as you can see, this I mean this eyebrow is much closer to the eye than that than that uh, the eyebrows for the eye and and it's not making an expression now or maybe it it do look like he's make making it does look like him he, he's making an expression now like he's frowning but I'm not trying to make him look like that. It just somehow looks like that. But, you know, whatever. Some expressions are okay. Let's just leave it like that. And we're just gonna shade everything that's inside it. Inside the iris. Maybe something like this. You know, of course I could have done the same thing here. That I shade everything except for the highlight, but... Since the iris, I've drawn it so large now. It, I feel it will look a little bit strange if everything was black. So I'm just gonna add some variations to it with some light below it too. So I don't know. I don't really know if it helps or not. But you know, the thing about drawing is that you have to experiment with stuff, trying creative, creative ways to draw. You know. That's just how, how it is. So, pretty good, pretty good. And since I've done this, let us just try something. I mean, try a really realistic eye. I mean, just, yeah, re a realistic eye. So the thing about realistic eyes is that they are much, much, um, much narrower. They're much, uh, what is it called? Shorter, yeah. So... And it's a little bit too small. Just gonna increase the size of it. And yes, as being small is also one of the characteristics of realistic eyes. So something like this. And of course, there are different types of eyes, and people of different races have different eyes. So. But most of them, you just you don't really draw any realistic eyes anyway. You just draw something that look like realistic eyes, and also when you draw realistic eyes, you also want to have realistic shading. So for the iris of for this character, I'm just going to do something much more realistic. But before I do that, I'll just add to. 
lines for the eyelid. <coughs> okay. So just gonna make this a little bit clearer, make the lines a little bit stronger. Okay now so let's go ahead and shade this one. I'm gonna start with an a highlight. So actually I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more. I'm, I apologize if the quality is a little bit too bad. But because I'm recording with an iPhone. But by the way, let's okay, so this is the iris and that was the pupil. And then uh in order to make the 3D look, I'm gonna shade around the pupil and when you're shading try to make the motion so that all the lines are pointing towards the center of the of the of the iris of the pupil and then make the iris completely black as black as you can and also around the highlight make it as black black as possible so that it has the highlight uh, effect and then and then let's just go ahead and around the iris go ahead and make some lines that grows towards the bounds for the pupil and then just have a gradient from the highlight and downwards and by now you should have a really realistic eye looking eye I mean eye pupil and of course you can have added some eyelashes and you know if you were to be realistic you would have added eyelashes but since this is anime and this one is not that realistic anyway so I'm just gonna leave it out and because you know without eyelashes they look more masculine okay so let's go ahead and try another eye and for this eye I'm once again gonna try something large because you know I've noticed that Large eyes are harder to draw. Just gonna make sure that people learn something from these videos. Okay, so for this eye, I'm gonna try something much more special, I guess. I don't know. I'm gonna try something that is in between of these two. So it's a large eye and it's not very feminine, not very masculine because this one was quite... Uh, I don't know, this one was a little bit feminine too. I don't really know. I'm, I'm just trying my best to give the eyes variations. So... Two eyelids... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Went out of camera because all the stuff are blocking my way now. Okay, so let's tr let's try to make it look at us and then highlight on there and then something like this. So I don't know. This line is on this side, and this line was on the side below this the pupil. And this time I make the, the lower line on the other side, so let's, I'm just trying to give it variations. Now for the shading, let's go ahead and do the sh same way of shading. Maybe some highlight above it, no, I'm just gonna leave it like that and then everything inside it. Pretty good. So, I'm just gonna make it much more rounder and the eyebrow clearer. And that's it. It's not that bad. It, it is uh, a little bit different from these two eyes. So, that's another way you can draw the eyes. I'm just gonna make this a little bit clearer. I know I kind of rush it and I kind of I'm kind of lazy so so I don't always draw all the lines clearly but you know it's just a matter of style and you know we're drawing to learn we're not we're not finishing any work now we're, we're drawing this to learn how to draw it's for practice so you don't have to 
you know, make every single eye clear. So let's go ahead and draw the sixth eye. I mean, this is the seventh eye. So what can I draw? Um, let me just try something that I've seen in an anime from Naruto. I think I'll try to copy the the eye from Naruto from my memory. If I'm able to do so, of course. So the, so the thing about their eyes is that they have this curve there, here. And then it, it's just like that. And then it points downwards towards the, towards the center again. And then the lower eye is just like that. Okay, so if I remember correctly, that's how Naruto's eyes are. The size of the pupil is around this big. And then... And then... I know, I know this one is gonna look a little bit like this one, but... You know, it is a little bit more different. It's narrower, it's also more like Naruto, it's also a little bit more realistic. And most importantly, it's masculine because of the eyebrow. And and also one thing I'm, uh, you, you you should take notice is that for this eyebrow I have made it you know, gave, I gave it shape. So a lot of times when you draw anima you you and maybe manga you sometimes you don't need you don't want to have one line like this you you should give it maybe a shape. So for this one I'm actually gonna give it a shape like this and this one also a shape like that and then I know this one is not gonna look like Naruto at all but you know when you don't when you when you're trying to copy a character but you don't have a re reference it's a pretty good good copy already I think okay so Naruto tend to have fairly fairly realistic uh, pupils so, for the shading of the eye, have that gradient that I told you, or maybe not. I'm just no, no, no gradient, just like that, and then two iris, and then and a highlight, a highlight. And also the upper part a little bit darker. Okay, so there is a gradient. <laughs> okay, whatever. I don't even know if that's how they shade the eyes. So now let's let's try something that's a little bit more peculiar. <coughs> I mean, let's 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 make it look the other way. Okay, so for the this eye, I'm trying to give it a very strange look. Thing like this and then because I've seen s such type of eye in anime something like this that they have those really strange shape for the lines mm, pretty good pretty good it's pretty good for my first try and this one works quite well i guess you can give this one to a really strange person in your manga or anime and you don't even need any eyebrows but you, you can give it something i mean you you can give it i mean eyebrow i mean it does not even have any eyelid but now it has so i don't know i'm just trying to make this a really special eye i know this one look quite ugly but it's supposed to be ugly anyway so for the shading of the eye I'm just gonna do something like this 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 I don't know shade everything inside of that area and also make the line a little bit clearer clearer here and that's it it's not that bad
you know, you know, these are just references for you to follow. You don't have to copy the exact same way. You can maybe mix some eyes and do the do the something that is in the middle of those of two eyes. But you know, just, just some examples there. Okay, so the ninth eye. Okay, so two eyes left, and I I think I have to hurry up a little bit. Kind of been wasting and talking too much now. Just gonna go ahead and do some really really simple. I don't know. Oh, how can I forget to do some with a really small pupil? Of course, there's there's not a, not much to learn from this. No, just a just a small pupil. But this is a style. So something like that. Now this one looks like the eyes of a Luf of Luffy or something like that. I don't know. Okay, so that was a little bit too much. It looks like he's making an expression. I'm not trying. I'm trying to make them all look, you know, normal. This and none of these should have an expression in it. If if you see some smiling or laughing or angry eyes then it's a mistake because I'm trying to make them look natural and expressionless and this one is gonna be completely dark like that okay so normally if it does not have an expression it should not have these you know this completely dark pupil so, but just for the sake of variations, this one is gonna have that. And by the way, it's a little bit too large. I'm gonna lower it a little bit. It looked too unnatural to be emotionless. So, dark circle there. And then, let's go ahead and move the eyebrow down a little bit. It's too high there. And for this one, you definitely don't need any shape for the eyebrow. Just a line is enough. This one is completely simple, as slim, as simple as possible. Of course, you could have been even simpler, but whatever. This is a style for an eye. And then let's go ahead and try something. I mean, I don't know. Um. This is the last eye anyway. I don't know what I could have drawn. <laughs> kind of ra ran out of ideas. So let's just try something. Let's just try an eye that I personally use. I personally like to use sometimes. <laughs> and this one is going to be an. Oh, I'm sorry. I went out of camera a little bit. But for this one, I'm just gonna draw it a little bit larger because uh, I have, you know, so, so much space left. So it's gonna be a long straight line. And then it's gonna be a pupil that shows there's a semicircle. And then for the lower part, it's just gonna be a curve. For this side, it's going to be, well actually it's not going to be a curve, it's going to be another straight line. So straight line there too. Okay, so for this part it's the exact same thing. And I'm just going to move it a little bit to the left. And then the pupil is on this side. It's also almost a semicircle. And then the straight line below it. And then on this side, just a line down there. Just like this one. Okay, so and what you do after this is that you could have okay, so this is the eyelid, and then for the eyebrow, it's gonna be.
it's also gonna be very pretty flat something like that and this one also pretty flat and then for the pupil I'm gonna give it a semi semicircle again for the highlight and then for the insides it's gonna be two circles that is gonna be completely dark if I am able to do so and then dark around the highlight and then a gradient from top to bottom Just gonna make the lines a little bit clearer. Okay, so of course I could have left it there, and it's gonna be look it's gonna look completely okay. But I could also have added some eyelashes. Ah, it's it's too strange. For my eyes, it's too strange. Anime tend to have no eyelashes. Anime boys, so. I'm just gonna leave it like that. And so if we zoom out again and we'll see that we are done. So guys, it's all, this video also has been 30 minutes so it's pretty damn long. So thank you guys for watching, I hope you guys found something that you like, uh, some style that you like and I hope you guys learned something new. And I will be uploading a new video pretty soon. So. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.